here's what's new this morning. Back in business after closing to treat more than 200 animals brought in all at once, the Central New York SPCA reopens its doors today. The dogs and cats were rescued from a home in Tully last week. New this morning, Brandon Roth is live at the SPCA in Mattydale with an update on how the animals are doing. Brandon? Hi. Good morning, guys. Well, here, this is Angel right here. And she's one of the more than 200 animals that were brought in last week, and she is a cutie. And I tell you, there's been a lot of interest in folks here, how they can adopt, and we're going to get that information to you and tell you how they're doing. Come on in over here, Terry Para with the SPCA. First off, let's take a look at Angel here. Yep. Uh, come on. She is a little cutie, and she's one of the... Uh, she's coming up. All right, we'll get her. Okay, we'll get her. First of all, a lot of interest in how the animals are doing. So tell us right now, how are they right now? The animals are doing very well right now. They are getting their little baths and getting shaved, and they're being fed. And this week we'll start with the vet checks and get them all their shots and stuff. Okay, and uh, if people, uh, it's still going to be a while, though, until they can adopt. It is. It's going to be a few weeks yeah. easily before they adopt. I don't even know if we're going to be able to allow them to view the animals. Yeah. At this point, they just run and hide. Yeah, we and we don't want to scare them away we want them to come to us that they're, they're right. willing yeah and we're taking a look at some of the video you can see the condition they were brought in and the good news is if you had groomers in and you've been able to give them all haircuts and wash them and absolutely they they came in we had six here on Saturday three or four here on Sunday and then we had two here every day last week yeah so they've just been round the clock volunteering their time and that's really been huge and helpful right and now folks even though it's gonna be a couple weeks can adopt they can help you you guys were already at max capacity before. Now you got 200 plus more animals. That's right. That's it. No, volunteers yeah. are amazing. We wouldn't be able to run this facility without any of these volunteers. Right. Get a shot here before we head out. You can see you got about 30 seconds. You can see them here. And this is pretty much uh, everybody's uh, pretty well rested here. And you can say if folks, again, if they want to help out, it's the SPCA. And we just want to say we got about 30 seconds. You really could use all the help you can get. We really can. Yeah. We can. Donations, volunteers, monetary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it would really help. This is going to be an ongoing thing for right. months and months, so yeah. I, I encourage the community to stay connected right. with this event. Okay, there you go. There you have it, guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Angel here how she feels about cats, three cats. <laughs> if she's okay with that, I don't know. She could be... Uh, at the Fenner SPCA, as Peter Hall likes to call my house. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> we'll, take, we'll, take it back, we'll take it back to you guys. All what right, a cutie, Brad. huh? Cute. Thanks so much.